What is customer advocacy and why is it so important to marketing? The power of a reference right, is indispensable. Uh, the ability for one customer to stand up and take a stand for you right, as a supplier to say, these guys you know, are great. Yeah. You, you can't put a price on that from a marketing perspective. Okay. And so customer advocacy, right, where customers are advocating for you, is ultimately a great place to be. I think uh -huh. there's, there's more. I think there are things that go beyond advocacy, like building trust uh -huh. uh, is critical. Obviously, you don't have advocacy unless they trust you. Sure. Uh, but uh, I think that's a big, big part of, of what customer advocacy is about, is really making sure that customers you know, are delighted with your product and, right. in fact, they're prepared to take a stand for you. Yeah. How do you build a customer advocacy program? You take care of customers, yeah. you know, and you take care of customers obviously in the good times and also in the bad times. Mm -hmm. And I, I've spent a fair amount of my career working with great service organizations who do it very well. Uh, and I've also spent time with many, many companies who do it very, very badly. Right. And so you know the difference. Uh -huh. we, we know the difference ourselves in terms of when we get great service versus when we get ignored. Yeah. Uh, and so, so to that extent, I think I've, I've, I know that feeling. Uh -huh. Uh, and I, that's the type of company that I want to work for. Yeah. Really people who want to take care of customers. How do you use your marketing strategy experience in the customer advocacy work that you do? So uh, strategy, as we say at, at NCR, without a plan is a fantasy, right? So uh, in terms of what we're doing at NCR today in terms of marketing strategy, we're very much, it, it, marketing really is about conveying the promise of the company. Okay, it, 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 it does have to be positioned to the extent that it's got to be competitive, uh -huh. it's got to be different. Yeah. Uh, in our market in particular, right, we have very, very slow growth. Yeah. Uh, and we're anticipating next year perhaps 2 or 3% growth, and that's actually fighting, you know, what we would call erosion, where customers come in and request deep discounts, and, right. you know, we, we have to compete, right, for renewal, renewing business. So to that extent, um, you know, having a very, very powerful offer is fundamental, mm. right? Uh, I think what happens is, is that companies don't articulate a powerful message, and then they get into the business of spin, okay. and people can read through that very, very quickly. And then how does, how does that connect to customer advocacy? Customer advocacy ultimately is about you know, finding those customers that will in fact provide a testimonial and then linking them to the marketing organization so that we can take advantage of those. Yeah.